Hello, and uh, welcome back to my uh, ShakeTube, my sh my month of ShakeTube, uh, where I am following uh, the hosts of ShakeTube, uh, uh, Rainy at Rainy Day Reads, uh, Jason at Old Blues Chapter and Verse, uh, Luke Ash at Totally Pretentious, and Steve Donahue at Steve Donahue, as they take us through a kind of selection of uh, works of William Shakespeare. And uh, for this first week, we've got something rather special, because uh, instead of just all plays, uh, one of the hosts is taking us through uh, one of Shakespeare's long narrative poems. Uh, that's uh, Steve Donahue and uh, his, his discussion on uh, Venus and Adonis, which uh, I'll put a link down below to his video. I haven't actually watched it yet. So uh, uh, after I get everything wrong, I'll go and check out Steve and, and hear, hear his uh, wor words of learning and wisdom versus my uh, blind stumbling reaction to everything here. Uh, so yeah, yeah, Venus and Adonis, uh, 1593 work, uh, published when he was 29 years old. Uh, this is something that I guess Shakespeare did during one of those, one of those plague years when the, uh, the, um, when the theaters were shut down, uh, he decided to do something respectable for a change. Instead of doing these kind of rather low disposable plays that, you know, never even, I don't think even got published in his lifetime, he sat down and wrote wrote uh, a long wrote long uh, ep a long poem a long narrative poem actually he's he did another one after this but we're just going to focus on Venus Adonis today uh and um this actually became like what seems to be his like his most popular work uh during his lifetime you know this is this is more of a status thing uh and um you know yeah it, it was it was extremely popular in his own time uh, later on you know, modern critics seem to have like more issues with it, but uh, at the time, no, this was this was the stuff. And indeed, uh, there was sort of this um, this thing of doing uh, kind of uh, this. There was a uh, trend at this time of doing kind of uh, doing retellings of of uh, especially stuff from Ovid, where this is the source material for for the story of Venus and Adonis comes from is from uh, one of Ovid's uh, Metamorphoses tales. Um, and, uh, you know, so, and, you know, you get other poets at the same time or generally the same time, like Christopher Marlowe doing Hero and Leander. Uh, this is like, this is again, Shakespeare. It's like, he is within, this is, he's within this kind of cohort of people all who are all kind of doing this stuff. And he just by, uh, I'd say by measure of his, uh, his, 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 his facility and his genius, uh, kind of rises above that. And this is sort of the stuff that gets left behind, um. I don't know about you, but for me, reading a play would, uh, I can, I could at least get through it a lot quicker and kind of understand on a surface level what's happening a lot quicker than with poetry, where I find I need to do a, a couple of readings of the poem to, uh, to get it into my thick skull and to start getting the hints of what's, what's happening there. Uh, so yeah, um, using the source material of, of Ovid, uh, which was a popular thing. Uh, and indeed the, uh, courtship of, uh, Venus, Venus wooing, uh, this, uh, this beautiful boy, Adonis, uh, was taken as sort of a model for kind of the court, courtly love of the time. Um, and, uh, and, uh, so he, he, um, he's, he's takes, takes this from Ovid. Adonis has the, the most kind of one of those really messed up, um, backstories in that his mother got cursed by the gods with an insatiable lust for his, for her father and had sex with him for nine days. At which point the father finally just realized who he was having sex with, chased her with a sword. The gods took pity on her, tr changed her into a tree. Uh, she was already pregnant by that point, she gave birth as a tree to Adonis. And Adonis was such this beautiful, beautiful adolescent, be beautiful boy, uh, that, uh, Persephone, uh, the queen of the underworld wanted him. Uh, Venus wanted him. Um, they kind of fought over, they fought over this. Uh, and, uh, you know, Zeus had to step in and kind of divide custody where it was three months with Persephone, three months with, or, third no th three months third of the year with uh persephone third of the year uh with venus and then the other third he could choose his own and he chose to be with uh venus now in this in this story in shakespeare's telling 
uh, Adonis is much much less seems to be much less interested in Venus. He is he is considered the he is the sulky pouty adolescent who just wants to go hunting and like stop bothering me, uh, Venus. I am too young for this, and also I'm just not interested in in this in this what you purport as love to me. And it's, indeed, um, as we go throughout the poem, uh, Venus kind of. Uh, gets to go Shakespeare runs Venus through kind of a gamut of of strategies and ways of trying to woo uh woo Adonis and we 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 get we get we get her you know with her, with her going you know well you're you're so beautiful it's your duty as beauty to breed uh breed yourself and also you know I'm not ugly I'm 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 beautiful I've got a wonderful voice you should you know you should you should love me go through all this kind of uh kind of ways of trying to get to, to woo to woo Adonis which Adonis he's not interested he is he is he is not he is he is proof of and the, the Shakespeare is is kind of uh has this thing of like you know she you know Venus is love she loves but she is not loved uh which is 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 sort of gets that kind of thing of this is um, Venus as sort of the symbol of love, but also as a as a as a feeling kind of uh, active wooer who loves, but her object of her affection has no has no use for her, which uh, is is just is just lovely. Uh, it is definitely a poem where it's got it's got comedic parts, it's got lusty parts, it's got soulful parts. Um, as we get to the fate of Adonis, uh, we go into we go into mourning. It, it takes you through it takes you through the whole gamut. It uses its length to take you through the whole gamut of 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 kind of the beauty and the ridiculousness and the um, and the lustiness and the sp- kind of spiritual side of love. Um, you know, and some of that some of that spiritual side of love you can you also get just through. Um, through Adonis himself, who who kind of chastises um, Venus at a certain point, saying like, you know, what you're talking about is love. It's like I that's that's false. That's that's lust. That's that's there. That you're trying. That you're trying. You're trying to. Um, you're you're trying to get. Try. Yeah. It's like what. Uh, uh, call it not love, for love is to heaven fled, since sweating lust on earth usurps his name. Yeah, so it's that kind of idea of of you know don't call this love. This is sweaty. This is sweaty lust that you're feeling. And we have these sections where he's where um, um, Adonis's horse gets away at a certain point and is chasing after uh, a, a, like a jennet, which I think is a small, small, a small, uh, small Spanish horse. And we get that again, kind of size power differential of this these two lovers a goddess and then a, a young boy uh, but we get we get the horse we get the two horses and it's like oh you should give in like the horses and it's like no that's not the thing actually there's a thing here where he says um lest the deceiving harmony should run into the quiet closure of my breast and then my little heart were quite undone in his bedchamber bid chamber to be barred of rest no lady no my heart longs not to groan but soundly sleeps while it now sleeps alone it's like there is a thing in here of of adonis that actually kind of like in this poem of love you have adonis going no i, I don't want love I, my heart is sleeping soundly in its bedchamber uh, and I don't want it to groan. I want it to sleep there, you know, soundly alone, which is, 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 is kind of like, oh, in this, in this poem, which is about courtly love and are, are, are just, you know, intense, lusty love and all this stuff like that. We actually have the, the, the object of the affection saying, no, I, I want to, I'm, I'm sleeping alone is, is also something that's valid that there, which I thought was, it was good. Um, well, on the other side, you've got like, you know, you've got, um, Venus who's like sees his beauty. Uh, and is saying like you know, what is thy body but a swallowing grave, seeming to bury, bury that posterity which by rights of time thou needs must have, if thou destroy them not in dark obscurity? If so, the world will hold thee in disdain, sith in thy in thy pride so far it is a hope slain. And I mean, he he talks. She talks about how like him withholding his his love. I mean. He's withholding his love, but I mean, it's withholding it from 
to from the goddess of love herself. He, she com- she 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 um she compares it to uh, a civil war, a civil war or suicide or a, a father killing killing his son. It's like you're you're killing the possibility of your of your of your thing, but getting more. Uh, so yeah, this is a this is. This is a this is a jam packed poem, um, which you know ends ends in death ends in death. Uh, spoiler alert! Because all uh, any audience of this poem would come into this poem knowing the fate of Adonis at the end that Adonis goes hunting and that Adonis gets gored by a boar uh, at the at the end. Uh, and um, and you know you see you see Venus bargaining not bargaining, like angry at death, cursing death, and then bargaining with death and then apologizing because she thinks, oh, maybe he's not dead. And then, no, it turns out he is dead. And her in the end, um, her prophecy at the end, since thou art dead, lo, here I pro- I, I prophesize. L- sorrow on love hereafter shall attend. It shall be waited on with jealousy. Find sweet beginning, but unsavory end. Never settled equally but high or low that all love's pleasure shall not match his woe. It's like, this is the, this is the goddess of love. And we're almost getting kind of an origin story of like, you know what love is going to always have in the seeds of it. It's going to have uh, all, all the strife uh, and the agony that comes, comes with passionate love with, with love at the end. Uh, And indeed saying at the end, like, well, okay, if death takes my love, death will take everyone else's love too. It's like everybody you love will one day die. Uh, And that's a romantic love. Um, And, you know, that's all, that's all the other loves. Um, And of course, at the end, you've got to get, you've got to get the thing with Adonis and Adonis turning into a flower. Uh, A uh, anemone, anemone. flower uh which hey I'll, I'll i'll end the video with showing you some pictures of uh of the japanese type that are in my garden uh it's not it's not the right type of flower but uh let's 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 end with that of uh my my enjoyment of this poem i uh um it it, ta- it took me uh took me longer to read this poem than it would for me to read hamlet or anything like that just to kind of get through uh, get through it, but, uh, has, has a lot of rewards to it. Um, I didn't even, you don't, you don't even get into like, you know, oh, is this something in the the age of me too? How do you, how do you deal with this, uh, obsessive love? But, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take it as a love is messy. Uh, love is, 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 is dangerous. Uh, and, uh, it needs to be, it needs to be examined in all its danger, dangerous, wrong, fashion uh and i hope hopefully uh that's something that we can still use we can still use today uh even though we might uh accept have much more different expectations um to what a courtly lover in the elizabethan time to what uh hopefully uh two two equal partners uh in in the hot desire of love and the deeper desires of mature love can have today um so yeah yeah that's all i have let's cue the flowers <laughs>